The Fox and the Cat From Grimm's Fairy Tales By Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm Translated by Edgar Taylor and Marion Edwards This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Read by Bob Neufeld. It happened that the cat met the fox in a forest, and as she thought to herself, he is clever and full of experience and much esteemed in the world. She spoke to him in a friendly way. "'Good day, dear Mr. Fox. How are you? How is all with you? How are you getting on in these hard times?' The fox, full of all kinds of arrogance, looked at the cat from head to foot, and for a long time did not know whether he would give an answer or not. At last he said, "'Oh, you wretched beard cleaner, you piebald fool, you hungry mouse hunter, what can you be thinking of? The cheek to ask how What have you learnt? How many arts do you understand? I understand but one, replied the cat modestly. What art is that? asked the fox. When the hounds are The Mouse, the Bird, and the Sausage From Grimm's Fairy Tales by Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm. When people are too well off, they always begin to long for something new. And so it came to pass that the bird, while out one day, met a fellow bird, to whom he boastfully expatiated on the excellence of his household arrangements. But the other bird sneered at him for being a poor simpleton who did all the hard work, while the other two stayed at home and had a good time of it. For, when the mouse had made the fire and fetched in the water, she could retire into her little room and rest until it was time to set the table. The sausage had only to watch the pot to see that the food was properly cooked, and when it was near dinner-time he just threw himself into the broth or rolled in and out among the vegetables three or four times, and there they were, buttered and salted, and ready to be served. Then, when— The Fox and the Cat From Grimm's Fairy Tales By Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm The Fox and the Cat From Grimm's Fairy Tales The Mouse, the Bird, and the Sausage The Mouse, the Bird, and the Sausage From Grimm's Fairy Tales By Jacob 